Man casually sips liquor and eats live newborn mice. So, I see a post right here. And I see a lot of people posting about Chinese people, Asian people eating insects, live animals, animals that you don't eat in North America or even in Europe. And so we think that these people are extreme. We think that these people should be punished or jailed or And so we see these animals like lobster, no, sorry, not lobsters, but like live animals, like live octopus or mice or insects as barbaric, as these people are barbaric, these Asian people. What do we eat? in North America, chicken, cows, fish, etc. Now they might not be alive when we eat them. And they might be other animals for sure. But they're basically the same. They feel pain, they suffer, they have families, they build houses, homes, etc. So there is no difference between eating these animals, mice and live octopus and live fish and so forth, and eating other animals. Basically, humans see animals as property. In fact, Asians are not picky. They eat everything. We are in, in North America. We're the ones who are picky. And people say that vegans are picky. There's literally tens of thousands of edible plants on earth tens of thousands and here people are eating only a few selected animals especially in North America it's cows chickens fish pigs turkeys basically five animals types of animals and uh, of course Asians eat way more because they eat insects and they eat who knows what in other parts of the world and I'm not just singling out Asians but people that's what people do they single out mainly Asian people and it's racist we're the ones and, and speciesist because we're the ones who do the same thing here in North America or in Europe or in South America basically eating animals sentient animals, sentient beings. We should stop this because um, this is like speciesist and racist. Call out one group of people when all of us are participating in the herding of animals. That's right, we see animals, non-human animals as property. And we got to stop this because then we're going to kill ourselves and we're killing the earth. Even though we don't eat live animals, we definitely do eat animals. In fact, eating live animals is actually more, in a sense, more, I shouldn't say ethical, but it's, I mean, why are we cooking our food, first of all? It's not natural to be cooking our food. It's not natural to be putting all kinds of sauces and condiments and plants on it as well. If we want to true, if we're truly carnivores or omnivores, we should be eating the animals 
We should be killing the animals and eating them live. Either live or, I mean, first of all, we shouldn't be eating them at all. But I mean, if we truly want to consider ourselves to be carnivorous or omnivorous people, then we shouldn't even be killing, we shouldn't even be cooking the animal. And if we can't eat animal flesh or secretions just how it is, then it's not meant for humans. If we have to put condiments and salts and spices on the animals to make them palatable, they're not human food. Look at lions. Do they put salt and pepper and spices and everything on their food? So please don't call yourself a lion because you're not a lion. You don't sniff other lions' butts, and you don't have tails. So stop this nonsense, stop the justification. Stop eating all animals and animal products, because we're not carnivorous animals, and we're not even omnivorous. That's why we get heart disease and strokes, and we get osteoporosis, and we get um, cancers, and, and so forth. So this is not good at all but uh the slaughterhouses everywhere so we got to stop that there's no slaughterhouses in the or there wasn't any slaughterhouses in the garden of eden so we should um respect god's wishes and god how god made eden thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.